Look, Man United have been linked with so many players in this transfer window that when we link with another one, it gets a bit tiresome. But when that name is Sergei Milinkovic Savic, my attention is piqued a little bit because as you remember, this is not the first time that we've been linked with him. Jose Mourinho was after him last summer, but Man United, we didn't sign him. We signed Fred, but we didn't sign Milinkovic Savic. But now the reports are back. Where are the reports coming from? Are they reliable? Is there any credence to them or is it all just transfer guff? What I'm going to do in this video is run through the full story of the new 2019 version of the Milinkovic Savage to United transfer rumours. Now, before we get into it, you know this video is sponsored by Unibet, who are supporting United People's TV. I've written an article over there on the Harry Maguire rumours, but there's loads of United content on the Unibet blog. Lots of original, insightful, sometimes breaking news content. So make sure you follow the link in the description and head over to the Unibet blog to get a little bit more transfer news. But let's get straight into this one about Milinkovic Savage. So what is the latest story? Sky in Italy are reporting that United are ready to offer 72 million to Lazio for Milinkovic Savic and they say that he would like the move but will not force through a transfer after signing a new deal with Lazio in October. And Sky reports that Lazio would want 90 million pounds for Milinkovic Savic and would hold out for that figure. The same sort of money that Man United pay for Paul Popper. It really is almost unbelievable how much the market continues to inflate. But that's what it is. Interestingly enough, the rumours last year actually said that Milinkovic Savic was valued at 100 million by Lazio. So something's changed since then, despite the fact that he signed a new deal. But as you'll remember, 2018, that summer, Milinkovic Savic was a midfield target for United and Mourinho really did want him. We were heavily linked with him last summer. Mourinho watched him in action for Serbia. He was being lined up as a big midfield signing alongside Fred, but the rumours faded away. But now they're back. Now, interestingly enough, at this point, the rumours are just coming from the Italian press. The British press aren't really saying too much. That's exactly how the Bruno Fernandes rumours started. They started out in Portugal and Italy, and then the British press got on board. Maybe the same thing is happening here with Milinkovic Savic. But what sort of midfielder is he? Could we sign him to play alongside Pogba? Is he a sort of defensive midfield signing? He's certainly not a defensive midfield signing. Milinkovic Savic is better suited going forward. I would think of him as a sort of Maro and Fellaini upgrade times 100. I'm only using Fellaini as a comparison because he's that sort of midfielder. Big, powerful, strong, tries to get the ball, bring others into play, but then goes into the box as well to try and finish it. Everything that Fellaini did, Milinkovic Savic can do better and he's so much more technically gifted. Can play off the left foot, the right foot, can shoot from distance, can dribble. He's a bruiser as well though. He can get involved, he can tackle. He's very much, I wouldn't say he's an, he's an all, I suppose he is an all-round midfielder. He's not a box-to-box -box midfielder. He's not a Patrick Vieira type player. But he's a proper, he's not a number 10. That's, he's not a diminutive player like that. He's just really fucking good at football. And in terms of the position that he could play if he joined United, you could see him operating with a defensive midfielder behind him and Paul Pogba in, as a two central midfield positions. Now, maybe that could be an alternative to Bruno Fernandes, which is what I think feel these rumours are, and these reports are, because the Bruno Fernandes thing has been dragging on and dragging and dragging and dragging. Maybe United are looking at alternatives now instead of Bruno Fernandes. And I would consider Milinkovic Savic an alternative to that. Although, if you look at it from a different angle, maybe United are trying to line up signings of both Fernandes and Milinkovic Savic with the intention of letting Pogba leave this summer. It's another angle to consider. But he certainly isn't the solution to our problem in defensive midfield. If Milinkovic Savic did join, he wouldn't be that new powerful defensive midfielder that we need. He'd be someone who could complement our attack and add a massive new dimension to it going forward. And we certainly need both of those. Defensive midfield for me is just a little bit more important because of how weak we are in that position. But Milinkovic Savic, let's not kid ourselves. He'd be an outstanding signing for most teams in the Premier League and certainly for United. But how likely is it that United will sign him? Well, we clearly scouted him last year. So it's not the first time that we've been linked with him by any stretch of the imagination. And he's a top class player. Now, I'm a bit confused as to why now? Why not earlier this summer? Maybe it's because something's going wrong with Bruno Fernandes or maybe it's just a smokescreen. Maybe it's nothing at all. But it started in the Italian press and it'll be interesting to see over the next week or so what develops 
in the British press. Because as I said with Bruno Fernandes, it started out in Portugal and Italy, and then the likes of James Ducker and all the reputable journalists in England started talking about Bruno Fernandes to the point now where United are considered hot favourites to sign him. Could we sign both of them? I mean, yes, on paper we could. But for me, if we sign both of them, it would be a massive indicator that Pogba is actually leaving this summer. And I don't think he will. Not this summer. I think he'll go next summer. But it's interesting to see that United aren't just sitting there with one target, I suppose. Bruno Fernandes, him or nothing. There's alternatives being lined up. And Milinkovic Savic would be a fantastic alternative. And there would be some that could argue that he'd be a better signing than Bruno Fernandes. What would you think? If you're going to sign one of them, which one would you sign? But certainly, the rumours are back in earnest when it comes to Milinkovic Savic to United. Milinkovic Savic, he'd be a class signing for United. But at this point, I'm looking at most players and saying, yep, yeah, you'd be good, you'd improve us, yep, yep, yep. That's the sort of situation that United are in. There aren't many <laughs> that really wouldn't improve United. And I suppose that's a, a little bit horrible to say, but that's just how I feel about our attack going forward at the moment. We need reinforcements. And he'd be outstanding. But given the two, as I said there, would you choose Bruno Fernandes or would you choose Sergei Milinkovic Savic? Let me know what you think about that in the comments. And do you think there is any way that we could sign both of them and keep Paul Pogba? I mean, for United to do that and still sign the centre-back we need and still sign two actual central midfielders that we need, that would be a ridiculously busy summer. Even busier than any of us thought <laughs> that it could be. But let me know what you think about this. As I said, the Milinkovic-Savic rumours are back. They're coming from Sky Italy. Be interesting to see what follows up with Di Marzio, Fabrizio Romano out in Italy, and with the likes of James Ducker, Jason Burt, and the established British press. I'll be following it. If there's any more updates on, the, on this full story, I'll bring them to you as always. And if you are new to United People's TV and you're still here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and get involved in the community. Until next time though, take it easy.